Let me ask you another question. Uh, this, this comes out of the did this really happen file. Uh, your colleague, Representative Steve King, set off a firestorm of controversy this weekend when he retweeted a cartoon showing an anti-immigrant uh, immigration politician from the Netherlands and wrote, he understands that culture and demographics are our destiny. We cannot restore our civiliz civilization with someone else's babies. Uh, asked to uh, clarify this several times, he's now doubled down on this tweet this morning. Listen to what he said. I meant exactly what I said, as it always is the case, Chris, and to expand on that a little further, I've said the same thing as far as 10 years ago uh, to the German people and to any population of people that is a declining population that doesn't, isn't willing to have enough babies to reproduce themselves. And I've said to them, you cannot rebuild your civilization with somebody else's babies. You've got to keep your birth rate up. This Western civilization still is, a, is a superior civilization. Congresswoman, what are your thoughts about that? Well, I would almost, uh, out of uh, respect for you, I'll answer, but I'm really speechless. I don't think uh, the congressman knows where he is or what country he is or what does he define as Western civilization. It means that every baby uh, that does not fall within his standards, uh, those of us who are descendants of African slaves, um, our Hispanic brothers and sisters, Asian brothers and sisters, uh, maybe people that come from Eastern Europe um, or places uh, uh, beyond his definition of Western civilization are unacceptable and are casting uh, aspersions on his so-called Western civilization. It is a racist, um, unbelievable statement that should not come out of the mouth of a member of the United States Congress who has as their very core the principles, again, of our Constitution that indicates that we all uh, are created equal. That is the Declaration of Independence. And the Constitution then confirms that document by the Bill of Rights and many other uh, statutes that have been added uh, to ensure that all people in this country have the dignity of citizenship and are part of this nation. And that means that the Western civilization has become an expanded definition of values not of race or not of ethnicity, but of values, what you believe in, and that is mostly a democracy that allows everyone to be free and to be heard. I'm saddened by the comments. I hope my friend uh, and colleague uh, alters his statement and responds to the question uh, that being a Western or part of a Western civilization is not a racist civilization. If he wants to join another civilization of uh, singular monolithic uh, race and background. Uh, this is not the country to be in, and I don't think Europe is the place to be. In fact, the world is becoming more and more diverse in many, many other parts of this uh, country and, uh, excuse me, of this world. And I am blessed to live in a changing world that welcomes so many people with so many diverse talents that can make this world, not just this nation, a better place uh, to be in and to enhance uh, the lives and opportunities of the yet uh, unborn generation and those generations here today that will continue to lead this world and our nation into greater places. Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee, I think we'll leave it right there. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.